Okay, so this is the trick I discovered, and uh, I haven't seen anyone else who's done it, so I thought it was pretty cool, and I thought I'd share with the rest of you. So, <clears throat> I got two colors of my buckyballs because I just thought they were really cool. And what you want to do, you take a string of each color, and <clears throat> make sure that they're the same polarity so they won't stick together. And you bring them parallel and stick them together like that. Make, get a decent length of them like that before you start and just grab the end the very last one by itself and pull it out and they'll start to alternate and I'll just go ahead and wind that up while I'm doing it and you could do really cool stuff with the alternating colors like I'm going to finish the video by making at least one cube with alternating colors like this. Uh, and it makes kind of a cool checkerboard looking thing. So anyways, I'll go ahead and finish this up. Okay, we've had a little glitch in the system, and I'm just going to sort this out real quick by pulling them all the way out. And I wanted to mention, when you get to the end, they do tend to kind of get a little wonky, want to do whatever they want, not what you want. Like that. I got two golds and two blacks, so you just pop them out and fix it. And that's that. Now, I'll go ahead and show you my technique of making a square. Um, gonna go ahead I loop it around the end of my finger and get a circle of 12, then double back. Get another circle of 12, and then double back again. To count out 36. And then I just unwind it backwards. Or whatever. Crap. <laughs> lost my count <laughs> again see that's one bad thing about magnets while they do stick to each other problem is they stick to each other <laughs> okay so we set that aside So we've got our 36. And then I just pull out another 36. And that's a lot easier to count because I've already counted it out. So I get a line of two, or two lines of 36 rather. 
and then fold that back again. Fold that back again. Keep doing that six times. Oops. And now I've got six rows. Pop that off. Save this just in case this one screws up. Just keep folding them over. That's one side, six by six, sorry. And then again, back and forth. Be really careful not to fold them out of alignment because when that happens they tend to stick that way really hard and it's really hard to fix it without screwing up the whole thing and then instead of alternating checkers you've got a big mess of black and gold. So this is the completed checkerboard cube.